right, so let's get Ava back on here because the last time we chatted with her, she and her sister, I believe, were super curious uh-huh. because they felt like their divorced parents were kind of like hooking up behind their back and was kind of offended by it. Exactly. So she and her sister... We didn't use the word meddling. I'm not sure what word we settled on, but they feel pretty adamant that their mom and dad, who are divorced, are hanging out again. So they're just picking up on certain things. Um, They didn't find anything in the phone, if I remember correctly. They did go through the phone, but like her mom will be somewhere and dad will be somewhere, but they're like, they're not saying they're at the same place. They just have this sisterly intuition that mom and dad, though divorced, are hooking up behind their backs. So we did a War of the Roses where we send we sent the dad a promotional email to send flowers to whomever he wanted to. Well, he chose his daughter Ava because it was her birthday coming up. We felt like that was a wash, or at least I did. And I'm like, all right, well, then let's do this again. We still know nothing at that point. We know absolutely nothing right now. Because, of course, he gets free flowers. He's going to send them to his daughter for his birthday. So, yeah, we, we proved he's a good dad. But is he a good dad who is sleeping with his ex-wife, a.k.a. her mom? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so what, we're, what we want to do is do a second, a back-to-back War of the Roses, and give him another opportunity to send flowers and see if this time he's going to send them to his ex-wife, a.k.a. Ava and her sister's mom. All right, so Ava, have any has anything happened since the last time we talked to you to give you any kind of clarity in with this at all? Well, I mean, not really. Like, here's the, here's the problem. So my dad made a reference to my sister about dating multiple people. He's like, well, I'm not tied to anyone at this stage of my life. And we were both kind of bummed and upset about that because like, he's not doing anything wrong. If he's dating multiple people, it just feels wrong because it's our mom. Like if, if our mom is like one of a few people he's dating, I don't know. So now we're thinking, well, do we need confirmation that he's dating our mom? But also like, is this going to lead us to one of his girlfriends or whatever? Like, I'm just like, like my mom is dead. Like we're convinced but they're dating people like that. You know what I mean? Like they're just, my mom's not going out and like having girls nights, <laughs> you know, like there's, she's seeing somebody, but I don't, we don't, we still don't know. And yeah, now we're just worried about, you know, what's, what's on the other end of it. And, and so, but we got to know. We still have to know. And do yeah, you, we're not, we're not you, meddling. I have the same feelings now that I did when we talked to you the first time. It's like, what's that saying that your grandma always says about, like, you're going to... Oh. oh, you keep knocking on the devil's door. Eventually, somebody going to answer. There you go. Um, <sighs> you know, you keep looking and looking and looking. And at the end of the day, these are two adults, right? Mm-hmm. Even though they're your mom and dad, they have their own lives. So I just feel like you're meddling in a place that can lead to nothing but tension. Well, it's our parents. It's our, I mean, at some point, like you think we'd meet somebody our dad was dating, right? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, when my parents, my parents divorced later in life and, um, when they were dating people, I didn't want to meet them. Yeah, maybe your dad's just like Unless doing were, it. Maybe he's just doing it with other women. Really? And it's not like a relationship. <laughs> I mean. Oh, no. And, no. The, and, and when it gets serious, <laughs> you know, and then if he's with somebody serious, then he'll introduce you. But until that time. Pops are just playing the field? Yeah. Yep. Mm, he's out there in left field having a big time. Mm-hmm. Time of his life. <laughs> I mean, do you really want to know that? I, get, I mean, yeah, we do. Or maybe do. it's mom. Maybe mom. What, what, what you going to I mean, I don't know. It's just so they're cagey about the same stuff. That's why we think they're dating each other. But then it's like, well, dad's dating multiple people. Or he's throwing you off the scent because oh. he's picking up what you're trying to pick up. I don't know. Or like he's, no, why, how would he? No, no, no. He can't keep a secret at all. Like he's not, you know what I mean? Like, like I guess he is keeping a secret, but like he can't. He can't do like a scam like that. Mm. Like throw it, try to throw us off the scent. That's like next level. Yeah. And you might be right. Like this is not his thing. Like he's not going to do things that are purposely going to throw you off. But the truth is that there's a reason why your mom and dad haven't come to you yet about this whole situation. 
There's got to be a reason. And, and you're you, prying. And what are you going to really do with the information if you get it, knowing you deep down probably don't even really want to know? Well, we'll be more delicate about it. We'll stop. We'll, we'll be, you know, they're dating. They're, I don't know. I don't know. We just. You just want to know. It's our parents. It's our parents. I just it's, feel it's like just if like, we go back in doing the War of the Roses thing, like, dude, it's going to be like, ha. How many times can I get offers for free flowers <laughs> before it just doesn't make sense? I think we still have one more in us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kristen is hell-bent on doing it. All right, Ava, uh, we will take your request. We will do it again tonight, and we'll see if we can get you any more details, okay? Okay, thank you. I really It's not meddling. We're just on um, a concern, <laughs> mm-hmm. I guess. Okay. okay. Tomato, yeah. tomato. <laughs> it's the bird show. <laughs> All right, let's get Ava back on here. Kristen, why is Ava coming back on with us? All right, so we did To Catch a Cheater, War of the Roses, not once, but now twice for Ava because she's trying to find out if her dad and her mom are secretly (sighs) dating again. The two of them got divorced, but she and her sister just have this inkling, this feeling that there's a little hanky-panky going on between mom and pops Mm -hmm. behind the scenes, right? So we did the first War of the Roses, and because it was close to Ava's birthday, her dad sent the flowers to her because we send a promotional email to the person that we're trying to catch either cheating or in this instance, we're not trying to catch him cheating. We're just trying to see if he and his ex-wife are back together again. Um, So he sent the roses to Ava. And so now this time, now that there is no special holiday in the vicinity, we sent the email again to him. I'm not sure how we've worded it because it would be odd for this floral company <laughs> just back to back to be like, you get free flowers and you get free flowers again. They are really like, aggressive, man. man. They they very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> but Ava was also concerned, like, yeah. is Pops, like, sleeping around and Mom doesn't know about it, so am I going to catch him here? And as I said yesterday, these might be answers you really don't want. But here we are doing it again. Hey, Ava. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so now we are 24 hours removed from our last conversation. This is the second time we've done this. I don't think I'm even going to ask you. You want to hear the (laughs) answers? You need to know. Okay. Yeah, of course. Of course. We need to know. Yeah. Kristen, you want to take it from here? Oh, sure. All right, so we sent the fake promotional email to the email address Ava provided for her dad. Um... And you didn't have to provide it again because we already had it the first time. Uh, He was once again offered a free bouquet of flowers, able to choose from several options with pictures in exchange, asked to share some promo codes for a percentage off a future order. Maybe he just saw it. We double dipped. I have no idea. Anyway, he could choose from the following. Pops of pink petals for the ultimate girly girl. She will love this clear glass vase bursting with nothing but pink peonies. Oh, that smells delicious. <laughs> um, peonies are my favorite. Um, Southern Charm. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. What? I, I mean, said peonies. If, if, yeah. yeah. no. if you weren't listening very closely. <laughs> right. yeah. Smells delicious. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Southern Charm. Peonies. <laughs> Lilacs and magnolias delicately arranged in a blue and white vase perfect for that southern belle in your life hello sunshine brighten anyone's day with this bright and bold medley of sunflowers orange roses crispidia and mixed greenery gathered in a rustically elegant galvanized pail and then lastly lady in red two dozen long stem radiant red roses timeless gift for the one your soul desires um he was on it First promotional email sent at 10 32 a.m 10 minutes later he was placing an order Ooh. And he placed one for Southern Charm. So not the two dozen long stem roses. Southern Charm, that's the peonies, lilacs, magnolias in a blue and white vase. Um, He requested that delivery to be sent Thursday evening. So that'll be today. Um, And Ava, the name on the card is Barbara. Is that your mother's name? No. Okay. Oh. He's sending flowers to Barbara, and the note on the card said, I'm enjoying our time and getting to know each other. I hope you feel the same. Ava, I don't think your parents are doing anything behind your back. Or just hooking up. Well, I mean, it doesn't mean they're not. It just means that he's seeing someone named Barbara, mm-hmm. and Barbara's get getting, well, Barbara's not getting flowers. What's happening? Are you sending Barbara flowers? No, ma'am. What, who's... Okay. We don't send flowers. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah, I really don't know what to say to you at this point. Again, uh-huh. I have kind of felt like 
in talking to you, it's a little bit on the meddling side anyway. If there was anything that your parents wanted to tell you, they would have told well, you that already. So your dad's dating, and apparently somebody knew. Which is okay because he's divorced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I guess. Yeah, it's just we 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 were so sure they were. I mean, they might still be kind of. You know, my mom might be someone that my dad is also seeing. I guess too. So I know that you and your sister feel like he they might be seeing each other, but. Is it possible that you guys want this so badly? Because as I've said before, it doesn't matter if you're 6 or 16 or 36. You always want your parents to be together, right? So is it possible that you are seeing things maybe that aren't there because you want them to be together so badly? I mean, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, now. Now, yeah. But I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. So that that is a possibility. However, I'm just yeah. thinking out loud. Uh -oh. We're not doing this again. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Come on now. We're Round not three. A third. <laughs> so here's my idea. Okay. In all these years that we've been doing to catch a cheater, War of the Roses, it's always flowers getting sent to women. What if we flip the script? What if we come up with some kind of delivery service for men that a woman can send to a man? And instead of sending the email to Ava's dad, we send it to Ava's mom and see if Ava's mom sends it to anybody, specifically well, yeah. the dad. Oh. No. Well, she's <laughs> on it. I think so she's in. She'd love that. But in this instance, then we can find out if she sends it to a man that's not her ex-husband, not Ava's father, then the two of them are dating separate people and they're living happy lives, leave and be. But if she sends <laughs> it to her ex, Ava's father, then that means he's dating Barbara. Ava's mom thinks she's dating her ex-husband. And then we have an actual issue. <laughs> I don't know. Uh -huh. Ava, you want to do this one more round? Well, of course I do, because then at least if my mom is dating somebody else, yes, then we can sort of feel better about things, I think. Not what? sort of. You can, and you got to walk away from this. Okay. Yeah, we can walk away. Okay. No, we can walk away. There's another yeah. bit you can do off the air called call your mom and ask her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not nearly as good radio, no but it would be probably be effective. Like, hey, mom, are you seeing somebody? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, that's another option. No, no, no that's not as fun. I don't right. want to do that. I, yeah, we ruled that out a while ago. Okay. We don't want to do that. This, I am now, this is my version of a 2023 parent trap. I really need to figure out here what's going on. All right, it's the bird show. The Burt Show. Like what you just watched, you can get more of The Burt Show on your favorite podcast platform. Wherever you listen to your podcast, you can find us. I don't know what any of these buttons do, by the way.